<laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mr. Aditi, uh, I am Mr. Bunyad from Uzbekistan. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. So today we will give uh, general information, general information about how how uh, Indian travelers can visit to Uzbekistan. Is there any restrictions or any traveler who who wish to come? To Uzbekistan can visit Uzbekistan, or what is the uh, visa regulations for Indian tourists, and what is the restrictions, how they will travel. This kind of uh, questions we will answer during our webinar, and our webinar uh, will be hosted from Mr. Aditi, from the company name he will introduce by himself, please. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, it was very nice talking to you, and you know, uh, so that's one thing I wanted to tell you. Uh, my name is Aditya. So, uh, in India, Aditi is uh, used for a female uh, person. So, Aditya is... Oh, yes. Okay, so my name is Aditya. And uh, uh, hello everyone, I'm Adit, uh, Aditya and I'm from nestackworld.com. And we here in India are a reputed travel company and we usually do uh, you know international travel packages for our clients. Uh, now, at this moment, uh, we are getting very much queries for the people who wants to travel to uh, you know, Canada or Saudi Arabia via Uzbekistan because Uzbekistan is very much in demand in India at this point of time. So that is why we are having this webinar. Uh, and uh, so Mr. Beyond will you know, give me a, an introduction on uh, how Uzbekistan will welcome Indians uh, when they'll start traveling. In. Okay, sure. Thank you, Adit Sarin. So uh, let me uh, start some presentation which is uh, devoted to the uh, about Uzbekistan and what is the regulations and others. So let me uh, let me start. Uzbekistan travel updates. Uh, as I start, uh, as I mentioned before, during our presentation and during our webinar, we will give answers to the questions. Regulations for traveling to Uzbekistan. Is Uzbekistan safe? And is Uzbekistan open for everyone? How is the visa system? How to fly to Uzbekistan? Is it safe for travelers? Regulations for traveling to Uzbekistan, uh, according to the uh, World Health Organization report, Uzbekistan is considered one of, the, one of the green zone and the COVID cases are rising day by day here, but it is not in the, uh, in the range of collapse. It is saying uh, it is safe country and passengers who are planning flight to Uzbekistan from the yellow and red zones, when checking the flight, must provide certificate for the airline representative with a negative PCR test for COVID-19 in English or it should be in Russian, and must exit 72 hours before departure. And upon arrival in the Republic of Uzbekistan, arriving passengers must undergo thermometry. And if there is a temperature of the, if the passengers have temper, te high temperature, then they will directly go to the quarantine to the hospital. If it's uh, no uh, like, if say, there is no temperature, they will continue their trip to Uzbekistan. But the uh, PCR certificate is uh, needed. Three main reasons for traveling to Uzbekistan, exploring new cities, delicious cuisine, to have new friends for Muslim travelers, Jara, and the, all reasons, uh, <clears throat> and some, some other, and some other reasons. But and now, nowadays there is some, uh, some more reason, which is a quarantine, Travelers, quarantine travelers who want to visit uh, the Canada, US, or Dubai, or some other Saudi Arabia, like these countries uh, from India. If they want to visit to these countries, they have to make quarantine in green zone countries. One of the green zone countries is Uzbekistan. So they can, uh, if who has a uh, residence permit in uh, Dubai, they don't need any visa to Uzbekistan. And who wants to go to Saudi Arabia, they have to uh, they have to take visa. So there are two types of visas to Uzbekistan. One is e-visa, which can be done uh, online visa, uh, which can be done by us. And the second one is uh, on arrival visa. If there is a big groups like uh, more than 10, 20 people groups, we can give them on arrival visa. They, there is no need to go to the uh, embassy. Just they have to send us the passport scan copies and uh, we will give them we will submit to the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Uzbekistan, and after uh, five, ten days, we can update you with approval. And by this approval code, uh, you can come to airport of Tashkent, and in the airport of Tashkent, you can get your on arrival visa. 
It's very easy system for Indian travelers. And this is Uzbekistan open for everyone tourism situation. In uh, there are nowadays 33 million people. Well, Tashkent is 3 million population and then 9,600 cultural archaeological sites. And double increase is the number of visitors. And Bukhara, Samarkand, Hiva, Shakrisabz, Ergana Valley uh, is considered one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And 6.5 million international visitors visited in 2019. And how to fly to Uzbekistan? By the way, there are a lot of uh, international roads are uh, not started yet, but the main roads like Delhi, uh, Istanbul, and uh, New York, and Frankfurt, Moscow, St. Petersburg, North Sultan, and uh, from these cities, people can uh, fly to Uzbekistan in every week. There are minimum three or four flights every week. Uh, cheaper. The flights, flight cost also will be cheaper for them. Okay. And there are nine, 90 free. Yeah, please tell there me. are 90 free. Yeah, okay. Yeah, please tell me. There are 90 free visa and 54 e visa regulation is announced for the countries. Uh, 90 country uh, citizens can visit visa uh, like free visa freely to Uzbekistan, and 54 countries can visit with e visa. Okay. And among these countries, you can see the numbers of the countries, like 90 days, 60 days, 30 days, 10 days, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Which one you will like? This safety of tourists. This one is a normal police, and this is tourist police. And if you have any problem, you can call any of them. Okay. And you can you can also take selfies with the tourist police nowadays. And transportation. There are uh, all kinds of transportation available in Uzbekistan, especially the proud of Uzbekistan is a bullet train. This bullet train is a Spanish train. It is available only C CIS countries in Uzbekistan, which is uh, uh, the highest uh, speed is approximately 300 kilometers per hour. Mm -hmm. And city tours and normal uh, Soviet Union type of trains and metros. Hotel constructions also is increasing day by day. And hotels are building in the Uzbek style uh, hotels, which everyone can feel themselves a real oriental Uzbek atmosphere. Because uh, this, this kind of style hotels are becoming very famous among the tourists. It has made this PDF, it is very good. You know, uh, almost everything what we, we wanted to ask uh, was there in the, in the PDF. So that was, that was awesome. Um, few questions still, I, I would like you to elaborate on that. Like, uh, first of all, you know, you have already uh, explained about the visa uh, to Indians, right? Uh, if you can, right. still, you know, again, uh, let me know. So if, if we are, if someone is traveling in a group, say it is a group of 10 to 15 people. Okay. So they won't have to do any processing from India and they can get their visa done in uh, Uzbekistan when they reach uh, at the airport, right? Right. There are two options. First option, they can take. Uh, first option, they can take e-visa. Second option, they can uh, take from Delhi Embassy. Okay. Okay. Uh, so e-visa, so what is the cost of e-visa? Do you, do you have any idea on that for Indians? Uh, it's approximately $25, $30 per person. $25 to $30, yes. Okay. Yes. And, uh, so you, uh, at this point of time in July, you must have seen many Indian visitors uh, who are traveling to Saudi Arabia. So you were asked, you are also telling about Saudi, Saudi Arabia visa status. So uh, if you can, if you can elaborate on that, who can travel from Uzbekistan to Saudi Arabia? People, the person should have uh, valid uh, resi residence proof of Saudi uh, Saudi Arabia, or you know, which visa holder can travel? Uh, I'm sorry, once again. Yeah. So, so you were telling uh, about the people who are traveling to Uzbekistan for Saudi Arabia, right? Uh, so, do you have any information about who can travel to Saudi Arabia via Uzbekistan? What should be the visa status of that person? Okay, uh, who can we, who can go to Saudi Arabia from Uzbekistan? Uh, Uzbekistan <clears throat> uh, for Uzbekistan, uh, there is, there is no not required any visa of Saudi Arabia. First of all, secondly, it is uh, up to them if they have only the ICAMA or if they have residence permit in Saudi Arabia. That's enough. But that's for it. Uzbekistan, they, they should take visa. Got it, got it. So there is no other so difference. Yep. 
No, no, they, they will not check. They will not check for any uh, special documentation from for the customers. They will just check only Uzbekistan visa while entry and while going back. They will only check the uh, ticket and PCR test and of course uh, the third country visa. Without this, they cannot travel also. But while entering, they will not check for the third country visa. Got it. Uh, just just one more thing, you know. Uh, so. What, what flight connection should one make? Uh, you know, from India to Uzbekistan, there are still options. We can check that. But from Uzbekistan, if someone wants to travel to Saudi Arabia, uh, so do we need to take only Saudi Arabia airlines or we can travel in any other airlines uh, which is going to uh, Saudi Arabia? Nowadays, last, uh, maybe last month, uh, Jazeera Airways started to uh, fly. To, it, it started from Uzbekistan via Kuwait. I hope so. Kuwait, yeah. So they can they can fly via Kuwait with uh, via Al Jazeera Airways. Okay, okay. So we, we can fly via Kuwait uh, via Al Jazeera Airways, right? Yeah, via Kuwait to uh, Saudi Arabia, and uh, wherever it is open, they can. There is a connections via uh, Moscow, via Saint Petersburg, via Istanbul also, where it is allowed. Where the Saudi Arabia is receiving uh, tourists, they can uh, take any flight connections. Okay. But I think now the via Dubai it is not uh, allowed only. Yeah, for Indians via Dubai it is not allowed. Correct. As of now it is not allowed, but maybe after twenty first of July uh, there will be some good news from Dubai side. So we are waiting for that. Uh, uh, so if it's, yeah, if it's via Dubai it is allowed, uh, then there is no problem because there are every day four five times uh, flight to Dubai. Like Air Arabia, Fly Dubai, Emirates, Uzbekistan Airways is operating. Got it. Uh, regarding RT-PCR test, you were saying that you know uh, the doctors will come to hotel and then they will uh, take the RT-PCR sample and uh, result will will, uh, will be there in twelve hours, right? Right. So, uh, is there any possibility that uh, one can travel to RT, uh, the the RT-PCR center to you know uh, to, to get some things in cheaper cost? I mean, to to to, to save the money in this case. Uh, because you know, if if the uh, nurses or doctors will come to the hotel, then it will be a quite expensive deal. So, can can the person travel to uh, these centers and get that RT PCR test done? <clears throat> so, PCR test it will be same cost. Oh, if you go there, you should you should wait in queue, and there will be uh, there are so many uh, local peoples also who is traveling to so, uh, to another countries. And it is also compulsory for Uzbek travelers also who is going to foreign uh, countries. They should give PCR. They should give PCR analysis. That's why maybe there are some uh, sick people in the hospital. But nobody knows. That's why we offer them to wait in the hotel and wait for the nurse and doctor. They will come and they can take the analysis by themselves. Yes, yes. It is safe for them. It is for their safety. Yeah, it is. It is okay. Uh, so. Uh... So, you, what which hotels you will be giving us? I mean, you know, if someone wants to have a quarantine package of fifteen nights, so it, will it be a four night, four star hotel or three star hotel, or we can uh, take we can choose the hotel as per our requirement? No, there are not every hotel is ready to take quarantine customers. There are some special hotels who are ready to work with quarantine people because they will stay for fifteen days. And uh, if it's big hotel, no problem. But it is little smaller hotel. They can accommodate for 14 nights. Then for their uh, regular customers, they cannot give rooms. That's why there is some special hotels which is contracted with Euro Asia Travels. Once after everything is confirmed, we will give them the hotel names. But we are hundred percent sure they will be happy with hotels because the hotels, most of them are fresh hotels, like uh, modern hotels. If you compare the hotels with European hotel, it is five star. Five star hotel. No doubt it is five star hotel. We can give them because we. I also personally have visited some uh, most most part of the European countries, and I can easily compare the hotels. If, if you compare even with the European standard, our standards are high and our standards are uh, more comfortable, and our room our hotel rooms are more bigger, and our services are also better than not better the best than uh, European hotels. Especially from Russian hotels or any other country hotel, you can you cannot compare. Actually, I read the reviews also. Uh, we uh, we have did some research on uh, online portals. It is very good. We we have read uh, what customers have written for you. So we we really appreciate your your work for that. Uh, okay.
Okay, uh, so is is mask mandatory uh, in Uzbekistan? You'll have to wear the mask, or uh, it is a mask-free country. Uh, mask is mandatory in in all places of Uzbekistan, but in uh, among young people, you know, there is there is a one good saying: uh, Why the rules are created just for defaulting it? Right? <laughs> that's that's why. People are always uh, crazy for this, this kind of things, and they are not wearing a mask. But wearing a mask, it is uh, for your health, for your safety. Yes, yes. It is, and it is mandatory. And if, you, if you don't have, if you don't have mask in uh, in like uh, public places, you will have uh, some problem. You have to pay some fee. For that. So if everyone, if anyone is listening to this uh, webinar, you will have to wear mask in uh, uh, Uzbekistan when you are traveling there. Don't don't uh, go on you know don't uh, you know check others if they are not wearing mask and you you will not wearing mask then it will be a problem for you. Okay, uh, so regarding uh, so, so if if someone will be staying in Tashkent, right? So uh, what all things are there to see? Because you know in 15, 15 days I won't I don't think that uh, anyone would uh, would like to go outside or in any other city because of this COVID nineteen thing because they will have to get tested. Uh, after 14, uh, 14 or 15 nights and then they will be able to travel to Saudi Arabia and they, no one would want to get contacted with this COVID-19, right? Okay. <clears throat> First of all, we should start uh, from Tashkent's climate and Tashkent's name. Tashkent, it has taken from Persian War. Tash, before considered as a Shash, it is old names are called Chach, Shashkan, Chachkan. Then it is became as a modern name, Tashkent. Tosh Kent means Tosh it is a stone, Kent is a city, it is a stone city. Because if you see, Tashkent is situated in the between of four mountains. Uh, and during the Char Russian time, this, uh, they, they have also uh, like announced Tashkent as a capital of the USSR, USS Uzbekistan. Then uh, why? Because because of its climate. The climate is very cool and there are a lot of trees and one of the green capital of Central Asia. And uh, while the quarantine travelers are visiting to Uzbekistan, especially for Tashkent, with their, like, with their friends, with their family members, they can find easily a lot of parks, a lot of cities, a lot of greenery places, and a lot of uh, like uh, fresh air places they can find. For their, uh, for themselves, and um, there are not far distance from Tashkent. There is a Charwak mount, Charwak uh, like lake and Chingan Hill. It is just only uh, 60, 60, 70 kilometers away from the city center, and we can give them special uh, transportation. They can go to the mountain. They can take cable car, and they can go to the lake. They can enjoy with the fresh air of the mountain. They can uh, taste the dry fruits of the mountain. And in one day, uh, they can do like half day trekking, hiking. They can uh, prepare barbecue together with the people. And they can uh, swim and there water sports. Like, yeah, yeah, different, different kinds of activities are available. Got it, got it. Horse riding, yeah. paragliding, whatever it is required for them. They can just uh, go and enjoy with their uh, with their quarantine package, and it, it will be like city break, city breaks for them. And uh, when they have when they have get bored, and when they have just uh, feeling sleepy in the city, just sleeping only five six days in the hotel, and they are with, they are thinking maybe there are more than ten days more. Then they should go to the mountain, and it will give them extra motivation. And they will enjoy with a um, mountain trip and they can come back. It is not uh, so expensive also. It will be per person approximately uh, 60 to 70 dollars. It is including food, transportation, and the cable car riding, everything, and lunch. Everything is included with 60, 70 dollars per person. Okay, but it will be good experience for them. Okay, that's awesome, man. Uh, I, even you know, I I want to uh, come to this uh, you know Uzbekistan and I want to explore the things because you are telling me you know there are lots of things to do. So uh, maybe maybe one day I'll be there uh, and we'll meet uh, in, in Uzbekistan. And if you, you know, have you ever been to India? Yes, yes, I have been 
so many times i have been in india. hey man so uh, next time when I, when I, whenever you are coming to india we'll uh, we'll be the host of this okay we'll host you yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. So from uh, you are from which which city of India? Uh, so we are from Pune. It is almost around one fifty kilometers from Mumbai. You must have heard about Mumbai, Mumbai and Delhi. So yeah, Delhi, I have been in Mumbai. Yeah, you have been in Mumbai. Oh wow! So so uh, from Mumbai, Pune is almost around one fifty kilometers. So our office is uh, in Pune. You are from Pune. Yeah, Pune. So so next time whenever you you are coming to India, uh, you'll have to. Uh, Uh, you will come to our place and we'll be the host right yeah hopefully hopefully yeah pune i think it is the famous for uh, with between uzbek students there are a lot of students are going to pune yeah. from uzbekistan yeah correct uh, you know even in, in our society where i i have a flat there are many uh, students who are, who come from afghanistan or uzbekistan there are many students right. mm. i know because some of my friends also used to study in pune that's why you know yes. the city name uh one thing uh, you know uh, the uh, so we, we have encountered this question many times from our uh, customers so there are many ladies who wants to uh, you know travel to saudi arabia via uzbekistan but they are worried about the safety because your husbands are in saudi arabia okay uh, but uh, they are they were stranded in uh, india and they want to, uh, to be there in uh, saudi arabia so that is why you know they are looking for a safe route to travel so uh, is uzbekistan safe for a single tra- a single female traveler yes uzbekistan is uh, as i as i um, as i mentioned before according to the gallup uh, magazine uh, according to the gallup research of us it is considered one of the safest country in the world maybe is in the fifth rank after the japan and singapore and some others after after them it is one of the safest country in the world. and uh, even you can travel Uh, even at night, three o'clock or four o'clock, there is no problem. Nobody can uh, like disturb you, uh, and especially if you are foreigner, they will uh, they will try to help you uh, instead of uh, like uh, instead of doing something bad with you. They will try to help you because uh, among the Uzbek society, we have one uh, saying: "Guest is as important as your bed." that's why they will give the set, like good respect for all guests who is coming to uzbekistan and uh, tourism is becoming industry in uzbekistan only last maybe uh, five, six, five, six years and the government is giving more attention to the tourism okay. till that we can say uzbekistan was so famous among all international society and now uh, now only uzbekistan is opening to the world so you can say the human kind is still there in the cities of uzbekistan it's not like other capitalistic cities and not the people also i'm not blaming anyone but i'm just comparing if you visit some some uh, metropolitan cities you will see some cold uh, like uh, action of the city, city people because there are everyone is living for themselves nobody is helping to anyone and everyone is living for themselves in the region is developed in such kind of metropolitan cities but yeah. in uzbekistan it is oriental culture because of the culture first yeah. of all and secondly it is one of the great uh, hospitality cities uh, and hospitality people and we like uh, guests we like to receive guests and you can feel that all uzbek society is helping to tour operators and for, for the pr and if uh, wherever who has visited to uzbekistan anyone just you can call and ask how is the people of uzbekistan how it, is it safe you will you will uh, listen the same answer yes it is safe and i feel like uh, the attitude of people of uzbekistan because while you are as a foreigner traveling to uzbekistan in the cities in the streets of uzbekistan you will be asked to take selfie with the locals because they like uh yes. to have service yeah yeah and you will feel yourself like a film star <laughs> especially in india <laughs> okay uh, okay uh, you know i i personally feel that it is a very big opportunity for uh, you know the countries like uzbekistan because uh, indians now are getting to know about the country like they they they, they and they want to explore something other than 
you know bali and uh, malaysia or singapore because you know uh, that thing was uh, so in last two or three decades india were traveling to these countries only but now they want to see th- something different they want to travel uh, to a place which they have never been before okay and uh, you you already know uh, how many indians are there in the country and uh, uh, so if they will start traveling say if they if they like uh, uzbekistan if they, if they'll start traveling to uzbekistan you can get a lot of business from india okay. so i want to i want to uh, i in in addition in addition to your words i want to mention one more thing i want you should keep this uh, this words in your video recording so uh, first of all uzbekistan is open for everyone and whoever wants to visit uzbekistan they can come it is safe number 2 it is uh, uh, green zone and number 3 it is not as expensive as europe as dubai or as any other part of the world but it is more beautiful and more friendly and more like comfortable for you if suppose you are going to europe or you are going to us and you are spending a lot of money maybe thousands of us and you will not feel like such kind of respect who where you are getting in uzbekistan okay. because as i mentioned before the hospitality and the mentality of uzbekistan there is we respect guests and that's why uh, wherever you are tra- uh, starting your visit Uh, maybe with your family members or your friends you can find all kind of activities in uzbekistan it is like flexible if you are muslim or uh, hindu or christian it doesn't matter you will just visit uzbekistan and you will, you can find for yourself all kind of activities and all kind of uh, sightseeing places and all kind of category of hotels you are you want budget hotel you can go three star You want normal comfortable hotel? You want for four star. You want luxury hotel? You will go to Hyatt Regency, Hilton, or some other world branded uh, hotels. And you want luxury lifestyle uh, tour? Of course, you are welcome. With the half price of going to Dubai or with the half price of going to Europe, you can come and you can visit to Uzbekistan, and you will find the respect where you cannot find other kind, other part of the world. I I'm just guaranteeing the satisfaction of the clients. in uzbekistan yeah so i was thank you don't go to uzbekistan yeah you, you correctly uh, you know uh, mentioned about this uh, so if if say if uh, hindus are coming uh, so there are not only religious uh, places in uzbekistan and other places also where they can visit and they can you know uh, do the sightseeing and they, they can enjoy the place right like the mountains of uzbekistan are very beautiful uh, we, we are seeing on youtube we are seeing on social media and internet you know Uh, it is very beautiful i have also uh, uh, you know i've been uh, researching on the country it is very beautiful i i suggest that everyone should at least visit once it is a very beautiful country right uh, uh, sure, sure. you are right you are right i just wanted to know about the food uh, thing because as you as, as we were talking about hindus coming to pakistan and you you must be knowing that most of the hindus are almost vegetarians right uh, So, is is vegetarian options available in uh, Uzbekistan for, uh, for 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 people like who are uh, who don't want to eat uh, this fish, chicken, or uh, goat or meat anything? Yes, nowadays all kind of international food are available. The so continental uh, food also available in Uzbekistan. Indian restaurants are available in Uzbekistan. Afghani, Pakistani, or Arabic restaurants, Indonesian restaurants, all kind of restaurants are available in Uzbekistan. especially in the main parts of the city centers not only in tashkent and some other place also you find indian food whether you are uh, you want veg food non veg food uh, and jain food all kind of food is what is required you can find in uzbekistan oh, it's not a problem that's awesome okay uh, anything else you want to tell me about uzbekistan Uh, because i i i you have it is a country speaks there is a country you just uh, uh, there is a one saying between uh, uzbek people it's better to see once than listening thousand times so you yes. should come and see by yourself yes absolutely absolutely uh, uh, one, just just one question uh, when someone is coming to uzbekistan and uh, so will they be transferred to hotel uh, in a private car or will it be a shuttle it, it will be a sharing shuttle or uh, how how the transfer will be taken care of if they are visiting to uzbekistan like uh, as a group or as a fit but first we have to uh, see if is it fit or is it group if it's fit uh, it will be 
transferred by private car. If it's a group, of course, it will be, we will give them minivan or uh, mini bus. Okay, so, so say if two persons are coming, two adults are coming, so they will be transferred by a private car, right? By, yes, yes, by a private car. Okay, and how far is airport from the city? The city from the city is just 20 minutes. It is in the, our airport. I think it's the only airport, one of the countries. It is situated in the city, inside the city, not outside of the city. Got it, got it. Uh, okay, uh, so, you know, I, I, I am done with this and uh, thank, thank you, thank you very much for all your information. It is very important for us and for our viewers because they actually are looking for uh, information for Uzbe Uzbekistan because you know in, in YouTube also for Indians there are no much not much information about it. So thank you, thank you very much for your information. Definitely okay. Thank you, Adit. Nice to meet you once again. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Thank you much. Bye.